Alright, hey guys, um, this is my review on the 1 to 144 high grade Tall Geese 3 model from the uh, Endless Waltz series. This model, uh, the first thing I want to tell you is it comes molded in all white. So if you don't like painting, then you're pretty much out of luck here because everything that's gray on here and the red on the mohawk I had to paint and that was kind of a pain but here's here's the box um I'll show you the trees is the instructions uh, it comes with stickers I only used one um, but yeah, the trees, all white. Like all of this is all this is white. So you're gonna have to do a lot of painting. Um, you can choose to do either the tall geese one, two, or three. I did the one. Um, so that's the, I figured it was the easiest one to do as far as colors. Um, for articulation he bends at the elbow, arms go up that far. Um, they'll go 360 if you get these thruster pods out of the way. That's uh, kind of a pain. The thruster pods are connected to the shoulders move like that. Thruster pods move like that. That's it. These come out. Um, they open like that. Uh, and they've got little, I don't know if you can see that little um, thrusters inside there. They move. I haven't painted them because I'm lazy. And yep, they come off pretty easy. Um, the head will go 360 and up and down a little bit. Uh, the waist actually, or the torso, can bend. See, like that. Goes like that. You know. Uh, the hands are on ball joints, but they're really not very good in there. They just kind of, uh, they're spin but they don't they come out really easy uh, kind of cheap but it's an older kit so I can forget it the knees only bend to about there because of the design uh, of the tall geese so that's kind of bummer uh, they go out this far and they go back that far as far back as they can go because the back skirts don't move. Um, the waist can turn that much. I don't want to force it because I don't want to break it. Uh, and the feet are on ball joints and they move a little bit. And yeah, that's about it for uh, articulation. Um, Accessories that it comes with. Uh, I only have one put together, and that's this gun. This is the gun actually for the Tall Geese 3, but I like this one better. I think it's cooler. Once again, the gun comes white to paint it. I did this gold right there just because um, I thought it looked cooler than that. Uh, Actually, when I was bringing it here for the review, the handle on it broke in his hand. So, I uh, can't see that. Let's see where it's white. It broke right there. But yeah, it broke off inside of his hand. So it's kind of it's kind of cheap plastic. I'm not going to lie. But yeah, there's his gun. And then his other accessory is the shield. You get one of two shields. This is the Tall Geese 3 shield, but I like it better. 
Let me see on Toggy's one. Uh, it's got a little joint poly cap on there that you can uh, attach to this part on his arm. See, this part right here. Just stick that on there. And you can turn it and everything. He doesn't actually have to hold on to it. That's kind of cool. Um, it does come with. this whip um, I don't use it I haven't detailed it or anything but it uh, it hooks right in here really good. it hooks right in there like that and it can move like this in and out that's about it and uh, it does come with the tall geese one gun but I didn't put it together. Um, I put it together, but I didn't paint it. See, this is what it looks like when it when it comes, just molded in white. <sighs> and that just uh, hooks on here somehow. I'm not really sure. I never I never put it on, so uh, it goes on somehow. Uh, and it comes with this shield, which is the tall geese one shield. I haven't painted it um, Because once again, I'm lazy uh, And I like the shield better uh, It comes with these optional shoulder pads that go on the shoulders like that I guess for tall geese three because the kit lets you build either one two or three whichever one you want um it shows the somewhere in here. Oh yeah. Okay. It shows the tall geese one right there and the tall geese two right there. So you have your color schemes for what you want to do for it. Um and then of course in the front you got the Toggies 3, I can't really get it in shot here. Um, there it is. <sighs> and, yeah, that's about it. Um, oh, sorry if I didn't cover the side skirts and the articulation, but they kind of, they go up and down a little bit, and they kind of spin a little bit, I guess. But they're kind of garbage, too. Uh, I got this kit, just, I get it because I thought it would be highly articulated. I, I got it because I love Gundam Wing and it was one of my favorite suits from the show. Uh, here's the box art. So yeah, that's, uh, that's my review for the Tall Geese 3 and um, I'll be back with more reviews for you guys. Hopefully uh, I'll do a little bit of a better job next time, but yeah, thanks.